Hello everyone, in this short video, I'm going to compare the, the older version of the GT Metrics testing. What I did is I had a project to rebuild a older website. So I took a GT Metrics test and saved the results. Then about two weeks later, I retook the GT Metrics test. And at that time, they incorporated a new Google Web Vital algorithms into their test results. So we're going to compare the two in this short video. I had a project to rebuild a older, very old WordPress website. So before I laid my hands on it, I took test results and we'll use it to compare or match how it compares to the new website which I will finish in a couple of weeks. Here are the results. As you can see it's okay. It's not bad. Nothing in red. It's slow loading. Um, as you can see one of the red flags is the HTTP request which is 92 which is quite high in my opinion. Page load is huge, 2.70 megabytes. We need to reduce it a lot. Now let's test this particular website after I started rebuilding it in the new GT Metrics testing. Now this is only approximately two weeks later. Since then they have changed the way GT Metric has changed the way they will test your website, adding the web, the Google Web Vital algorithms into their test results, which is very helpful to you so you can see how your website or your client website stands. And here are the final results with graded A, and as you can see. Here are the web vitals, largest contentful full 1.1 second, blocking time 91 milliseconds, cumulative layout shift 0 0.04, which is very good. Very low shifting in this particular website. As you can see, it also has some of the older test results for you incorporated. Now I myself will also have to learn how to use these results where I can use it to fine tune or tweak the website. So I'm in the learning process myself and maybe I'll come out with another video showing what the results are and how you use it to your advantage. In any case, I have an older video explaining the Google Web Vitals and I'll link it in the description below. So thank you for watching and hopefully this will help you in your SEO setup for any website that you are working on, whether it's yours or your clients.